Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to the Book of Genesis, part of the Christ Honoring Commentary series, written by my pastor, Brother James W. Knox. And this is the cover of the book. Not sure if this book is in print anymore, um, but it will be in print again um, soon, hopefully, uh, Lord willing. And this was a devotional type of commentary. And the new one will be a chapter-by-chapter, verse-by-verse commentary when it gets re-released. And today we have reached June 18th on the subject of Jacob and Esau from Genesis 25, 19 through 34. And we'll go ahead and read those verses here in a few minutes. But first I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And he too can be your Lord and Savior today if he's not already. And that is the most important thing you can ever do is to trust Jesus as your personal Savior. And he will wash away all your sin and show you how to live a uh, Christ-like life and, and be obedient to him as you desire to do so. So I hope you just don't want to be saved so you don't um, end up in hellfire. But you actually want to live for the Lord and get uh, awards or rewards, I should say, and inheritance and not keep living after the flesh. So amen. And the Lord will certainly help you. Do that after you get saved, but it's not by any types of works that save you or trying to keep the law or anything like that. It's through the finished work of Jesus Christ. So that's all you have to do is believe, have faith on in him, and he will wash away all your sin. So hope you do that today. All right, so we're going to head and um, read the verses here from chapter 25, starting in verse 19 all the way through 34. And then we'll get into the um, topic for today. Uh, from the book of Genesis, on Esau and Jacob. So here we go. It says here, starting in verse 19, And these are the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham begat Isaac, and Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah to wife, the daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian, of Padanaram, the sister of Laban, the Syrian. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife, because she was barren, and the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah his wife conceived, and the children struggled together within her. And she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was threescore years old when she bare them, and the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man, dwelling in tents. And Isaac loved Esau, because he did eat of his venison, but Rebekah loved Jacob. And Jacob sawed pottage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die, and what profit shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day. And he sware unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, and he did eat and drink, and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. So that's the chapter there with the verses, and I'll put that aside and grab the book here, the book of Genesis, the Christ Honoring Commentary series uh, book here um, from Brother James. So we'll get into this topic for June 18th, titled Jacob and Esau in Genesis 25, 19 through 34, which we just read. So we have these um, five points here with a bunch of subpoints. And so let's go ahead and get started in point number one, which is their births. And we have A, Isaac married at age 40, which is verse 20. B, he prays for a child, verse 21. Since Rebekah was barren, 
he had to exercise faith and cast himself on God. C. God answers. Verse 21. D. After they had been married 20 years. Verse 26. E. The picture throughout is the conflict between the natural and spiritual. Verse 22. F. Esau means Harry. Verse 25. And G. Jacob means supplanter. Verse 26. So that's point number one on their births. And then subpoint A through G. Number two, point number two, is the selling of the birthright. And we have subpoint A with um, four sub subpoints, um, one through four. So uh, subpoint A is the birthright carried four blessings. So here's blessing number one, the father's blessing. Number two, the place of firstborn as head of family. Three, the honor of being in the messianic line. And four, the place of domestic priesthood. So that's from point number two, the selling of the birthright. And uh, so that's subpoint A with the four points. And now we have subpoint B from number two, the selling of the birthright. B is diverse natures of the two sons, verse 27. And these two sub sub points. And we have one, Esau was a cunning hunter, man of the world. And two, Jacob was a plain man, dweller at home. And then we have C, which is parental favor helped to breed hostility, verse 28. D, Esau craved Jacob's pottage, verses 29 to 30. E, Jacob desired the birthright, verse 31. And F, a bargain made, verses 32 to 34. So that's the end of subpoint two on the selling of the birthright. Next, we have sub, or we have point um, number three. So that was uh, point number two with all the subpoints. And then number three is two types of sin. And we have A, Esau loved things of the flesh and lived for the moment. He repented later over what he lost, not over what he had done. Hebrews 12, 6. And then B, Jacob seems always to run ahead of God. His scheming would cost him much during his lifetime. All such was foolish in light of Genesis twenty-five, twenty-three. So that's number three, two types of sin. And then number four, we have the despisers. And we have A, Israel regarding the pleasant land. Psalm 106, 24 is the uh, cross-reference. B, the priests regarding the name of the Lord. Malachi 1.6 is the cross-reference. And then C, Judah regarding the law of the Lord, Amos 2.4. So that's point number five. I mean, number four, excuse me, number four, not number five. And then we have two little notes here at the bottom of page 222. Now this one says he sold his birthright. He did eat and drink. Genesis 25.33-34. through 34. Never was any food save the forbidden fruit in Eden, purchased at so high a price. Yeah, and then this final point here says, Dispensationally, Genesis 25 treats the restoration of the earthly people. So that's that for today's topic on Jacob and Esau. So if you missed any of those, you can go back and get the notes there in its entirety from all these points. Point one is the births, point two is the selling of the birthright, and then point three is two types of sin, and then point four is despisers. So along with all the subpoints in each of those points there. So amen. Alright, so that's it for today's topic. And tomorrow for the nineteenth we'll be going over the character traits of Esau. So that will be one page, page two twenty three. And then on the 20th, we have notes on Genesis 26, 1, excuse me, 1 through 16. So we'll read uh, Genesis 26 on the 20th and then go over these notes on that chapter. So, all right, so that'll be the for the next couple of days, those two topics. And so I hope you come back for those. And if you missed any of them, you can go back and watch them either on my YouTube channel, which is Ambassador for Christ Broadcasting, 
or typing in Back to Spread Broadcast and look me up that way and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting these up. Or you can go to the Facebook page if you're friends with me on Facebook or if you want to share it with anybody on Facebook, um, however you want to do that. And it'd probably be better and easier for you to look these up on the YouTube channel if you're looking for the older ones. And so, and I upload both of these and, or both this one and the other one on face, on uh, both Facebook and YouTube. I do the Back to Spread live on Facebook and then upload it uh, to YouTube where this one is pre-recorded every day. So, all right. So that's about it for today. So thanks for watching and may the Lord richly bless you until next time. Bye-bye for now.